today we're going to be chatting about pop-ups. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Yasmin. From, I am the owner of Roblo Designs, where we create jewel-worthy websites and brands for entrepreneurs who are, who are hell-bent on taking over the world. So if that is you, you can hit me up. Check me out on roblosdesigns.com. But today we're going to be talking about pop-ups. And I have a love-hate relationship with pop-ups. I do use them. Um, I do recommend that certain clients use them, uh, especially e-commerce. Um, it's really great to have it on there. Yeah, it just converts really well, although they can sometimes be really annoying if used improperly because with great responsibility, com with great power comes great responsibility. Is that right? Right. Okay, so here is how you can avoid being that annoying person. One, you want to make sure that the t there's a timer set so that it waits about 40, 45 seconds until of me being on the site so that then it'll pop up. So let's say I just landed on your homepage or this really cool local boutique. So I'm on your site, I'm browsing, I'm browsing, I'm looking at it. And then that's when you would say 10% off. Here is your 10% off if you sign up today. That is a better experience than me clicking on your page, landing on the homepage, and then bam, in my face. Because you wouldn't do that in real life. If you are, if you have a local place, you wouldn't have your employee, as soon as somebody lands, comes in, you wouldn't have them get something shoved, you, the customer gets something shoved in their face and go, hey, hey, 10% off if you join our email list. No, you wouldn't do that. So don't do it online. So keep in mind, you can do a timer or you can do a percentage. So if I've scrolled a certain amount of, uh, on the page, whatever the page height is, it's an, as a percentage, then you can, then the, it'll pop up. So I typically do like 50%, but you can also do like 25%, 30%. As long as it's not immediately when I land on the site, that works great. Give me some time to just land, breathe, browse, and then give me the pop-up. Another thing that you can keep in mind for pop-ups is to give me the promo first. Don't give me any of that, hello there, hey there girl, as a headline. No, promo goes first. So if it's 10% off your next purchase, it'll say get 10% off ne your next purchase. Sign up today, plus get exclusive deals, da, 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 whatever, in your inbox. That could be the subline. The main headline, the first thing I see, again, if you follow me, you know that I uh, tell people to design for a drunk, lazy person. If I'm a drunk, lazy person on your boutique site, you better know that pop-up has to say 10% off your next purchase blah, blah, and then sign up here in bold so that I can just go in there, type in my email address, and then get your emails. And then you have me, uh, you can market to me directly. So those are the biggest issues that I run across with pop-ups. Also, make sure you check your stats every so often to see if people are actually using the pop-up because if they're not, if they're just exiting the pop-up, then you can put it somewhere else on the site. You don't need to have it up there if the stats aren't showing, and then you can come back to it later when you when you see more traction on your site and add it back in. But service-based businesses, same thing. You want to have, if you're going to give me the five tips, the top tips for drinking more water during the day, because I need to drink more water, um, then you would put that get the top five tips for getting more, drinking more H2O, have a sub headline that says, you will learn da 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 and get us our healthy newsletter. And then the, the sign up box, but the main promo, whatever I'm getting first is there, it's in bold, I can see it if I'm scrolling, whatever, I can see it. To recap, set a timer or a percentage so that it doesn't, you're not in my face immediately because I will exit out and I will not even read your awesomeness that is in the pop-up. I will just exit out of the pop-up. And then sometimes I, as I'm exiting a pop-up, I'm reading it and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Click. Damn. Because I just clicked out of the pop-up as I was um, going through because it just popped up in my face. All I wanted was an article on how to, I don't know, how to make a new pumpkin pie. And then you pop something in my face. And as I was going to click it, I actually read it, but I clicked out of it. I know you have awesome stuff that you're giving away in your pop-up. Make sure that it is not annoying so that people don't click out of it. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, I look forward to getting them. You can find me at Robles Design Studio on Instagram, Facebook. Um, you can follow me on YouTube and um, subscribe, please. And you can also find me at RoblesDesigns.com if you have any questions about your website. And I will see you in the next video.